Labas, es Tomāns Galvenais treneris, būtu jūs domas par tevi. Labvakar! Apsveicu visus ar lieliskiem svētkiem, tiešām bija lieliska atmosfēra, labai stadionā, kvalitatīvs zāliens un ļoti kvalitatīvs futbols. Man ļoti patika šodien mana komanda, jo domāju, ka izņemot rezultātu un tās kļūdas, par kuram vēl agri runa, nezinu, neskatījos video, bet kopumā varu teikt, ka šodien parādījumi ļoti labu futbolu. Tiemžēl neizdevās uzvarēt, bet tas nekas. Cīņa turpinās, redzam, ka spēlē ir, spēlējām labi, sapratam, kā rīkoties bez bumbas, kā ar bumbam, un varējām to izveidot. Tas man ļoti iepriecināja, un cīņa turpinās. Proti tev kā trenerim ar mazāk vilšanās par kopējo iznākumu nekā spēlētājiem, jo šķita pēc ielaistajiem vārtiem, arī pēc beigus vilpas tāda vilšanās kopējā spēlētājiem? Nu, visiem ir vilšanās, bet ko mēs varam izdarīt tagad? Varu teikt, ka mēs bieži runājam par to, ka mēs nevaram ietekmēt rezultātu, bet ko mēs varam darīt? tās parādīt savu maksimumu un darīt to, ko mēs trenējam. Rezultāts ir arī veiksme, ir arī citas, kas var ietekmēt, un tas pirms spēles tu nevari prognozēt pirms jebkura spēles, ir tīpaši pret tādu pretinieku, bet uz ko mēs varam ietekmēt, to es šodien redzēju, un tas ir galvenais, jo kvalitāte ziņa, man tā liekas, varbūt es šaubas, varbūt citiem ir cits viedoklis, mēs domājam, man liekas, ka mēs spēlējam labāku futbolu šodien, un arī vārtu gušanu iespējām mums bija vairāk, diemžēl tie zaudēti pirmie vārti, No standarta situācijas, kur arī izveidojas pēc tā, ka slikti izsitam bumbu, nu tas varbūt deva kaut kādu spēku pretiniekam, bet mēs parunājam arī pārtraukumā un otru puslaiku mēs arī uzsakam tā, lai izdarītu kaut kādu knockdownu pretiniekam, lai viņam nebūtu tā, ka tagad Mēs iesim pēc otrajiem vārtiem, tūlīt iesitīsim, RFS būs aizsargi. Nē, mēs arī spēlējam atru futbolu, mēs arī spēlējam augstāk un veidojam momentus arī pie tās situācijas. Man tas zīmējums ļoti patika. Bet tomēr otrā puslaika vidū iznāca Vitalis Egodīnskis, pārkārtojieties uz trim centra aizsargiem pastāsti vispirms, kāpēc šāds lēmums tikai pieņemts un paskaidrot, cik ļoti tas bija jātaisnos tobrīd? Nu, lēmums tas bija saistīts ar to, ka pretiniekam bija divi uzbrucēji un flanga bija arī tikai viens spēlētājs un mums nebija jau iegas, tur aizsardzība, lai mums strādātu divi spēlētāji, mēs gribējām pastiprināt tieši vārtu rāmi, jo bija daudz centrējumu, un ar to tas bija saistīts. Un tas viss strādā arī Dmitri, nu, savainojumu guva Peters, un arī Dmitriem mēs sapratām, ka viņš, ja viņš spēlas kā viens no četriem Aizsargiem viņam būs grūtāk, jo kad viņš spēlē kā pusargs un ir trīs centra aizsargi, kuri vārtu rāmi var cīnīties, tad viņam būs daudz viegli. To mēs arī redzējam, viņš ļoti labi iesaistījās spēlē un tas bija tāpēc.
Gribu paveicāt par vienu epizodi, kura varbūt nerakstro kopumā spēle, bet vai tā nav tāda neizmantota iespēja dabūt trīs viens un izcīnīt uzvaru Arturs Zuzins un viņš vārtu priekšā ar bumbu un ļoti tāda gara pauze. Vai tā, oprāt, tā bija tāda viena liela neizmantota iespēja, kur varētu pabeigt spēli? Kad viņš sita meistarīgi, ja tā... No soda laukuma robežas, kad bija vārtu priekšā atradās ar bumbu. Un viņš sita. Vai... Sita, bet pēc ļoti garas pauzes. Nu, ir tāds teikt, teiks, ka jo garaka ir pauze, jo, ga, jo lielāks, meistars. lielāks ir meistars. Nu, tas tieši attiecas uz jūgu. Ja viņš izmantotu to iespēju tā, es domāju, ka tagad mēs visi runotu citādāk. Un es arī domāju, ka viņš izdarīja maksimum tādā situācija, jo nebija jau spēlētā, kuram piespēlēt. Tur. Tāpēc vai tu sītisi un kāds blokies tur, tu šo sīti no vai kaut kādu fantastiku izgudro, ko viņš arī izdarīja, bet drusim pietrukā. Emersons un Kuadiju abiem diviem 1 plus 1, tad par pozitīvo runājot, Emersonam ļoti tāds spilgti vārti, droši vien ar ļoti mazu XG, kā var novērtēt viņu gaidā to ikdienā, vai tomēr šodien viņš pacēlās mazliet augstāk nekā parasti? Nu, es, es zinu, uz ko viņš ir spējīgs, un nav, nav tā, ka kaut ko jaunu es ieraudzīju, jo es zinu, ko viņš var izdarīt, kā viņu izmantot, un vienkārši šodien viņš trāpīja, bieži tā sanāk, viņam bija arī citas iespējas gūt vārtus šodien, bet... Nesanāca, vispār Emerson ir ļoti kvalitātīvs futbolists, un šodien viņš to parādīja arī. Sostīklos cilvēki, bet ne tikai sostīklos, arī Jurkovskis pēc spēles intervijā ar mani izteica tādu kā neapmierinātību ar RFS otrā puslē, kā tām epizodēm, kad sēdējās uz zālā, ja kad apstājās ar spēlē, traumu dēļ vai, vai parādo traumu, nezinu. Vai tavuprāt arī tas kaut kādā veidā uzvalk pretiniekus, vai RFS tas dot labumu, vai arī tu uzskati, ka tur tiešām visās epizodēs bija savienojumi, kas liedza spēlētājiem ātrācāk spēli? Es nezinu. Es nezinu, par kuriem epizodiem, par kuram epizodiem, bet ja spēlētāji vai līdzjūtēji pie šāda spēles zīmējumā skatās uz tādam lietam, nu, tātad, nu, es nezinu, ir labs futbols, visi spēlē, ja tas notiek, nu, laikam, mēs nomainījām Diomandē, mēs nomainījām e, Mārišu pēc tādam situāciju, kād vēl bija kaut kas? Nu, es, kad es esmu solīņi, es skatos futbolu, es diriģēju, nu, man liekas, tas nav iegas vispār par to runāt. Nu, Jurkovskim tas nepatīk, kad viņam patīk, ka kā viņa spēlē vai kaut kas cits. Nu, tas ir viņa viedoklis. Kāpēc man par to ir jārunāt? Tev savukārt varētu, tu varētu parunāt par sastāvu izvēli. Kāpēc Iegudinskis, kurš ir tāds līderis ģertuvēs, droši vien viens no līderiem tādā lielā darbījā palika uz rezervistu soliņu? Tāpēc mēs zinām, kas būs, kas darīs, ko darīs pretinieks, ja mēs spēlēsim tā, kā mēs gatavojam savu plānu. Un ja viņa spēlēs tā, vajadzīgs bija marcis. Ar viņa kvalitātam, un šodien viņš tiešām spēlē ļoti labi, nu, tāpēc bija tāda izvēle. Mēs zinām katra spēlētāja plusus, minusus, un šodien tiešām bija vajadzīgs marcis, un tas pilnīgi attaisnojas. Pēc iepriekšā darbī esi teicis pozitīvus vārdus par Douglas Aureliju, ka viņš ir Rīga droši vien labākais, kvalitatīvākais spēlētājs. Šodien izdevās viņu neitralizēt, varbūt arī, arī padalīties, kāds bija plāns, lai viņu apturētu? Nē, par plānu es netiekšu, bet bija plāns, kā viņu apturēt. Nu, bija situācijas, kad bija grūtības ar viņu apturēšanu, bet kopumā es domāju, ka Sanāca diezgan labi. 
vēl divi jautājumi standarta situācijas, kā uzskati izmantojāt pieteikumu labi tieši uzbrukumā, arī bija stūras tieni, savaļniekam. Jā, bija ļoti labi centrējumi, tiešām sava ļoti labi centrēja, bet diezgan tā grūti bija sīs pa vārtiem un tās grūtības bija noteikti. Diemžēl neizdevās to izmantot un Diemžēl pretiniekam tās izdevos, tas tā nepatikams moments. Vari precizēt, kāpēc bija grūtības izdarīt citienus, ja bija centrējumi? Grūti teikt, tu skaties un tu redzi, ka it kā visi ir pozīcijas, visi skrien, bet pretinieks ir ļoti garš arī, tāpēc tur ir tā cīņa. Es nevaru tagad precizēt, jāskatās video, jāsaprot kas notika. Tikai redzu, ka Ropčiks ar saviem centrējumiem un Petar viņi savu darbu izdarīja. Un par atmosfēru vai šīs dienas tas, kas notika apkārt spēlē, kaut kur atgādināja pagājušā gada rudenī, kad arī šajā pašā stadionā spēlējāt konferences līgas grupu tur? Jā, noteikti tas vispār, jo vairāk šādu spēļu, šādā atmosfēra mums būs, nu jau būs, tas būs ļoti patikaini. Tiešām atmosfēra bija Lieliska, paldies visiem līdzjūtējiem, komandu atbalstītājiem, tas vienmēr spēlēt šādā atmosfērā, tas ir kaut kas neticams. Precizējošais par vēl vienu maiņu beigās, Mārķa vietā Elvis Tugus, Mārķa teica, ka nav gatavs, vai tur bija tomēr arī taktiski apsvērama šādā maiņā? Tas bija maiņa pēc pozīcijas, jo Mārķa es nevarēju turpināt spēlē. Varbūt viņš arī kaut kur bija zeme un Jurkovskim arī varbūt nepatika. Arī šis spēlētājs ir uz zemes. Mēs jau atradām trīs pauzes. Kāpēc notika? Par Ismailis Diomande, kas tu domāji par viņiem spēle šodien? Tu domāji, viņš spēle labi? Jā, es domāju, ka šodien vispār nav pretenziju ne pret vienā spēlētāja un arī par Ismailu. Ko mēs plānojam, kā mēs gribējam, lai viņš spēlētu, to mēs arī redzējam. Protams, bija kļūdiņas kaut kādas pozicionālas, jo tā ir tikai pagājušajā gada viņš vienu puslaiku spēlē kā labas malas pussorts. Un šogad tas ir otrais mačs tikai šajā pozīcijā, protams, kļūdiņas ir, bet kopumā varu teikt, ka viņš izpildīja visu to, ko mēs no viņa prasījām un ļoti labi izskatījies tur. Un kāpēc Jānis Ikaunieks nespēlē šodien, jo viņš spēlē iepriekšējās pret Valmiru? Vispār Jānis vēl nav gatavs un runājot ar daktari, arī viņš uzsvera daktars, ka pagaidām ļoti agri viņam spēlēt, jo ir ļoti daudz, kas jāizdara treniņos viņam un iepriekšējā spēlē pie rezultāta 3-0, it kā devam viņam šo iespēju, bet sapratam, ka šeit jā, kaut kas ies nepareizi, nu tad negribējam riskēt ne ar maiņu, ne ar viņa veselību, tāpēc tas bija lēmums. Lūk, turpinam ar presas konferences otro daļu. Tomislavs Stipičs pēc Rīgas darbī kopā ar jums. Es sāksim ar treneru komentāru un tad kā vietas laiks žurnālas jautājumiem. Tomis, please, your commentary about it. Thank you. First of all, big Paldies to all people who was involved for this great event today, for this organization on a high level. It was really nice to be to be a part a part of this great great game and especially for these invisible people, which do important job maybe not so in focus and uh, behind the lines and uh, even dirty jobs and which is important to to have great great atmosphere uh, like today in Latvia and um, 
Also, big, big, big thanks to all the spectators which today um, give their their influence to this game. I think I'm here one year and uh, six months in Latvia, and today was like 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 a big game from feeling air. You even cannot speak to inside uh, to the players as help uh, to help them in their decisions because it was fantastic atmosphere and today game and draw 2-2 two, two, but uh, I think Latvian football and uh, generally fans and this kind of emotions which we which we get from from pitch to 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 outside all LFSH Liga FC it was like um, I think today give only winner and uh, this is nice to see and um, about the game of course uh, um, I can speak now about all details, which was not good, but I think inside in me is um, important to say after 2-0 uh, for opponent, we, we, we played 2-2 and this is from feeling like, um, like a winning, but it was not a good game from my team. Um, it was really not a good game, but you know, this is Conto Stadium and uh, what I tell all the time at FSA played here the Europe games. This is their home for special moments, you know, their crowd heritage in our home. And uh, we need we need to change this from feeling here, from atmosphere, from, from believing. We need to create our own identity and our own heritage. And this is when I tell sometimes we must make experience. If you look to my players. We, how we open this game, these big games under this atmosphere. Now you can remember what I told you before two months, too many children. This is not about age, it's about experience. It's about, uh, about this today's only league I see team which will take it. If I cannot take it, I will fight for that. If I cannot fly, I play for that. This is small details, you know. But we today with our game, we broke something. We broke something in this in this in this flow from opponent. And it's very important, step by step. Um, I stay for hard working, and my team need stay same. And um, but big compliment for our character, our bench players which come inside. Uh, I can even not say. Uh, um, Individual some 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 compliment, but if you see today Muzinga after six months he was out was our best player on the field, and you cannot hide quality. You can hide quality one two weeks, but during months you must show it. If you play, if you participate week by week, if you have it, and he was six months without, and he come and is immediately our best player, and that's why we need to ask us inside. How strong we are really, and how strong where we have potential to put it on the field, very important. But I'm very proud today uh, about this this kind of of win. Yes, thank you. Sorry, Chris, it was too long. <laughs> but ah, uh, 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 a little for this uh, recent two, I think, for the years, I think, share. Pasākumā šajos futbola svētkos šīs spēles organizēšanā un šīs spēles organizēšana bija augstā līmenī un bija patīkama būt daļā no šīs spēles īpašs paldies neredzamajiem cilvēkiem, kuri izdara lielu darbu, kas ir svarīgi, lai būtu šāda Latvijas futbola un lieliska atmosfēra un, protams, tu paldies arī visiem skatītājiem. Un esmu šeit pusotru gadu un šo vakar bija patiešām liela spēle bija Grūti komunicēt ar komandu spēles laikā, jo atmosfēra bija gluži vienkārši fantastiska. Divi, divi, bet Latvijas futbolas emocijas, ko sniedzām abas komandas arī RFS, es domāju, ka visi ir uzvarētāji un to ir patīkam redzēt. Var runāt par detaļām, kas nebija labas šajā spēlē un kur, kurs mums būtu jāuzlabot, bet... Okay. Bet, bet šis, šis, šis nav tas vakars un tiešām 
Ir patīkami redzēt šādu spēli, un šis ir skonto stadions, un RFS arī kā komanda šeit iedzīvoja tiešām īpašs moments iepriekšējā sezonā. Savā ziņā priekš viņiem šis stadions arī ir kā mājas priekš īpašiem momentiem, bet mums tomēr jāpaskatās, kā mēs šo spēli sākām un jāatcerās tas, ko es teicu pirms diviem mēnešiem par to, ka mēs esam bērni, bet viss ir sīkās detaļās un es domāju, ka šajā vakarā mēs kaut ko šajā ziņā salauzām un lielu komplementu katram spēlētājiem es negribētu izcelt nevienu individuālu, bet tomēr arī rezervistiem un viens spēlētājs godiem ir Madama Zinga, kurš sešus mēnešus nebija kopā ar mūsu, bet šajā vakarā iznāca laukumā un bija labākais spēlētājs šajā mačā un par to arī ir jāpadomā un Protams, kā ilgtermiņā šī kvalitāte nav noslēpta, jo atnāca spēlētājs un viņš šodien bija labākais. Tāpēc arī savā ziņā jāuzdot jautājums, bet esmu Latvijas par šo spēlu. After the first 30-35 minutes, it looked like a catastrophe for Riga FC. What happened in the beginning of the match? It was just tactical issues because you changed the formation after that or maybe characters or something like that? Yes, first 30 minutes. We was not on the field. We was under some impression. And yes, it's... It's maybe about about uh, about pressure, about event, about uh, everything, about our processor. Um, we was without energy. We we, we was without uh, idea. We was not on the field, to be honest. And uh, after, of course, we change formation. We change some some details because we have always. My coaching staff, especially, has always second uh, second plan and uh, plan B, and they also, I must say, on this way, big compliment to all my coaches because they change today this game. They gave idea from the bench to change formation, to change players, and I have fantastic people around me. And uh, guys, thank you for your advice. And uh, this this is like your result today. Maybe if you speak about choices, personalities, Hrvoj uh, Babets on the bench from the starting minutes and Baba Musa on the field, uh, maybe about this choice, uh, you can explain more why for uh, that uh, important derby Babets is on the bench. You know, as coach, you, um, you have some ideas and uh, the idea before this game was, uh, was to... The LFS will play a lot of long balls to Kuadio and to Ilic, and uh, and Baba Musa is a better better challenger. And uh, but you know, if you stay on the wrong place, then you challenge also will not help you. You know, we was too defensive, and uh, we was we needed too many players to keep to cover Kuadio, to cover Emerson, to cover Ilic. We was not able to give them pressure, uh, pressing, you know, to to give them pressure uh, on their build up, and it was uh, not uh, not like our plan. Yeah. If we not talk about uh, the quality of the game, but just about result and the way result was progressing from zero to two to two to two, are you satisfied with the final result today? And do you feel a little bit like a a winner today. Yes, uh, it's. Uh, I think it's big mistake after one draw to feel like a winner, because the result is two two. This is rational and this is fact. But on emotional side, I think Liga FC can feel today like a winner, because um, from two zero in big games like this to two two. We show some mentality, some morale, but uh, this, for example, today LFSH, they has many situations uh, to score more goals when they was in front, when they was leading, but they decide to lie on ground. They decide maybe to shoot like Panenka uh, in some situation there. You felt their quality. Everybody felt quality from, uh, from LFSH, everybody today. 
and you felt also they underestimate us during the game in some situations. There's, there's, there was also stalled uh, time, uh, some stalling time, I don't know, still time. And, you know, in some situation it was like not... Uh, if you f can finish opponent, you should finish, but it's not my business, you know. I'm coach of Liga FC, but in this moment, we create new strength. And this was like for us, today we took it today. We come back. And uh, that's why it's 2-2. Two -two. And the first coach before you said that uh, after the break, they wanted to like surprise you and that they are not defending result, but they are going up, to, up and to press and to try to get a bigger result, as you said. Uh, was this first of all was this a surprise for you and secondly are you satisfied how you managed this because we saw sometimes Riga couldn't make transition to attack and the refs like really kept the ball and made the attacks one after other um, we know uh, exactly uh, how LFS play, how they play pressing, how they keep the ball. Uh, they are now in very, very, very strong moment from there, from this season, you know. They, they look really good, they look very stable and experienced. And uh, they are together for a long period, maybe two, three years, some players together. This glue between them, this uh, close, they close their eyes, they understand each other. They just gave time and they gave sun, they gave love, they gave water and this time, this team growing with the time, you know. And um, we are in different, we are in different constellation. We build now something and uh, we should be, we should be satisfied about this moment also. We survive today. I'm satisfied how I lead also this game and, uh, you know, many times in this season, maybe some part of energy, some part of tactic skills, some changes, change our games. And um, we feel like we, it, we feel like um, we control uh, from the bench what we can control and we give influence where we can change. And this is, as I told you before, from, from my coaching staff, for myself. All, all, all good, all under control. Uh, coach, you lost in Valmiera today. Also, it was very, very uh, hard game to 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 not to lose, and uh, almost you lost. And uh, now we see that. And also, you said about Ngonda that he comes in and he's the best. And also, we see some newcomers who come, uh, Mankenda and and Peña, who scored the goal. Do you feel that at this time of the season you need like a little bit to rebuild the squad and also we hear about rumors some other newcomers could come that you should rebuild the team and to make it better to not repeat the game in Valmer and game today which was very not very good. Mm, no, it's um, like uh, losing game is also part of development. It's a part of way, you know, and. Um, this also we need need to teach us sometimes. You know, you when you lose game, you are too inside more, more detail obsession. And uh, no, it's um, we we will not have too many changes. You know, in a squad maybe two, three, I don't know, four maximum new players. I don't know now. In this moment, it's maybe wrong moment to answer to you. Because we won't have stability, we won't keep uh, our our face, our identity, and change some some few things which bring us maybe more more how to say more freshness, more quality, more something. But um, everything is fine. We are in first place uh, still, and we we defend this this place, and we try to. Uh, try to win games and who think it will be easy you know uh, with which reason can be easy what it's it's a day by day hard work like in Shakhtar and it's normal it's it's nothing it's nothing changed we need to prove every day in training we need to build team we need to put players which like uh, like natural hierarchy if they are good like Brian Penner today he designed this game it's a feeling you know to put him inside and of course, we participate then in the next games, and let's let's decide by nature, and let's not make some stupid things because it's for what for what I believe in hard work. That's all. 
and the Brian Pena and uh, and the Gautier Mankenda. Was there also your decision, your voice, or it was like uh, uh, directors? No, I can tell you really uh, uh, how it's working in our club. I think it's very, very good, uh, good teamwork. Generally, very good teamwork. I'm very satisfied how my director talked to me, how they also give me some advices, how they um, support me, especially also yesterday evening. You know, after the training, uh, they invite me for beer in, in uh, Antonia Ciel. I call this street fake street. We met there, you know, like a friends, really like a friends. And you can feel really um, Mr. Mr. Lomashi, Mr. Pronin, uh, you know, doesn't matter. You know, they are here for me. They help me. They, this is their life. This is their child. You know, I'm here temporary. They had before me other coaches. They will have after myself other coaches. But they are eager to see, and I'm here to to be of really to identify with this 100% to help to win champions title together. We are one team. We make decisions together. We are on good way. Sometimes need little time, little maybe better decisions from all of us about some players. I did some maybe wrong decisions because I recommend some players. From them, I expect more. You know, this is uh, this is fo- this is football. This is a game of mistakes and some organizations. But you know, till now, we are really uh, we we feel each other and we are in good teamwork. But uh, again, if we speak about Mankenda, who played against Riga last season and against Auda last season and against your Riga this season, uh, when you played against him, uh, you thought that this player can be in your team? Yes. I told this in front of my team when we make presentation. When we present Liepai, I tell this is one of the best wingers in the league. I told this about Mankenda maybe before two, three months. Do you think that today's match was uh, a good test before uh, matches in European Cups? This is fantastic questions and this is very important for us. Today was like simulation for Europe Cup, you know, and my team has this experience and uh, it is very important. Today, to like from emotional side, even to win and to have this game under many supporters, and um, that's very important. Yes. And uh, mm, I have a, a question about uh, transfer rumors. Maybe you hear about Eric Eric Exposito in Riga. Yes, mm. I heard about this player. Of course, I'm uh, I playing with uh, with people. This is one player which uh, about which we talk last few weeks, and uh, I don't know now situation how far uh, or how close we are to each other to find a, find a good way to work together. But this is one of one of players which uh, which are, are interesting in our in our like our I don't know how to say in our in our base. Of course, I hope tomorrow. We can present other one player. <laughs> no, really, I hope. Uh, tomorrow. 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 I, yes. You know, I don't want to speak. It's not my job. But I hope tomorrow we present uh, not Esposito. I think other one player, and uh, you will see. Oh, Riga work not so bad. <laughs> <laughs>